Hey everybody, welcome back to European Pro League Season 11 Division 2. Let's see how these two teams will do here. It's Unity versus Dynamo Clock, or should I say Dynamo Clock versus Unity, uh, based on how it's laid out. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And uh, let's jump into this best of three and see how they will do. And as again, and as you guys can see, it's the lower, um, it's a it's a playoffs it's actually, <laughs> it's the playoffs, and we'll be having the upper bracket quarterfinals, which a clot and Unity will be playing today, and the winners will be playing against Illuminar. Here's the lineup for a clot with uh, persistence of uh, NBQ, Blitz, Trias, Dider, and Forcey. Having the lineup with Unity, we have Neo, Kitchen. Levi, Kefida, and Mikey. So there's that lineup, and let's go into the map Vito, where the bands are where to go Inferno, followed by Nuke being the pick for Dynamo Clock and uh, Ancient for Unity. We'll be jumping into Anubis as that decider as well. So uh, let's see how this will go. Hey, <laughs> oh, Magic kind of night. Hope you guys are feeling well. Nice to see you guys in the chat as well. Uh, people who recognize <laughs> recognize me, and uh, also I recognize you guys as well. So great to see you guys. But let's uh, jump into this best of three as the players are getting ready. We'll be jumping through and uh, going into the pistols. So, on Nuke, Dynamic Clock will be starting as T side, and we have Unity on CT side. Let's see, towards the B ram, but they're coming through here. Levi will find the first one, gets a second as well. Teaching and Neo just close this round quickly here. Krias will be alone, but he'll be the only one finding a frag here for a clock, and we'll be having Unity taking the round. Do you know how the EPL main? I'm not sure. Simple day. Literally have zero info about it. So, into round number two we go. And a full eco for a clock. As we do see Mikey finding that frag on Blitz. Mikey finds another one as well. Two frags for him. And as they're trying to push through to Hut and Squeaky, he'll be going down here. And Pichon will find the last one. So 2 0 comes up. Let's just see how they will do further along the road. Round number three coming through. Let's just see how they'll do from here. Uh, Stider finds that one. 
And Mikey will get the refrag through. Good job by MBQ and Kreas. But Levi will get a trade. And now we have a 3v2 situation here. The clock can run away with this one as they find Levi as well. Mikey will be alone. Mikey comes out of his position, going down. And we'll be having 2 1. to round number four. Let's see here. MBQ finds Levi quite well. Or see, we'll find Peachin. You see Forcey with another entry towards the B side. Here goes the clock. And we'll definitely get away with this one because it's not the best buy for Unity. I might just see. And it'll do from here. Kefita goes down. See how that next match will be played out. Now. Rifles actually arrive here. And uh, opportunity of a comeback from Unity, but this is a quite important round for a clock right now. Did you want to keep rolling as their T side here? Thank you. Finds a great frag on Kreas. Great entry done for Unity right now in order to try to come back into the round and let's see how they'll do from here. So, crossing the yard, Mikey, shut down by MBQ, Forcey will get Mikey in the end. As Dider finds that one. will get Dider in this retake here and it's a 3-1 situation Blitz will be alone and just trying to go for the save instead they did get the bomb plan that will get some cash for that but Unity takes back the round and makes it 
So yeah, here's the cams of the players here in Unity. Neo finds a great ground for himself here. See, Mike Impeachum plays aggressive here, gets those kills, and... See how they'll do here in round number six. They're trying to come through towards the B site. But look at Neo's position. We get it with Levi here. Neo will just get one free kill at least. Finds a second as well. Kifida gets tighter. And we have four two. Great one. Great hold by them. How is it possible Unity is so good online last three months? Maybe they've been playing well. Got a change in their lineup. Timing for doing the number so off. Yeah, timing could actually be the factor between two sides. So much in these games. But as we roll out to round number seven, there's pistols coming out here. Clock going quick. Towards the A site here trying to push, but it won't be an uh, opportunity really. Unity has it under control. Of course, it will be alone. Well, let's just see here. In September. Mikey finds that frag. You need to have a change in their lineup, by the way. Nah, it's all right. Sir Yusok. Uh, the Unity had a change in their lineup. They brought in Kefida. And since then, I think they actually got a lot better. And this one. Look, the flick of Neo is great. Let's we'll go down to that one. As rifles are up. Yeah, how they'll do in this one. Spider finds Peach and Mikey. We'll get MBQ. We see Dider getting an instant refrag here. Or see finds Kefita as well. Good shot. Naya Neo will be backing away though. This Levi will be mollied away from heaven as well. And there we go. Unity will just go for the save here and we'll be having 
So, into round number nine. See how they can do here. Unity. Lost that last round. A clock could be coming back. Let's see how they'll do here. Blitz making his way together with Chaos. Out. Secret. Mikey finds Dieter in that position. It's a 4v4 to heat. Clearing out secret a little bit here. Levi will be on site. MBQ trying to find something towards that A site. Trias went down in yard. Now Blitz making his way towards A main here. Peach and will find out. Frag, the refrag comes through. Neo on heaven position might be deadly. They are coming in here. The plant will come through. Ten seconds. It's a 3v2 retake right now. Let's see if Unity can make something out of this one. Flash comes out, but Levi won't be doing anything. Kefita tried to flash him in. Now they know about Kefita being in that spot. As MBQ wins that one as well, and they should know where Neo is here. Tries to battle out, finds one, tries to get it against Blitz. Oh my! That no scope for Unity! Wow. That no scope that comes in. Neo. Gives us a highlight here. Uh, is it new that players have, let's see, is it new that players have to use webcams? Can't remember, I saw an online tournament. It's, uh, preferable. And, uh, don't you guys enjoy it? here i'm not sure if it's the rule or not but it's an upgrade now as you guys can see here we have a lot of updates in the overlay as well like you can see the headshot percentage you can see uh average damage per round as well where they're from what's their name everything like that Neo and Levi will get this retake done as well. And 7-3. Right now here. Clot is actually doing well going into the sites, but it's the post plants that kind of not works for them here. So, two rounds left here of the first half. 7-3 on the scoreboard. Clot will love to win one round at least until going into CT side here. But Krias will be caught up by that nade. Neo Kefita clearing out the B-ramp here. I love how, how Kefita sometimes just jumps in. He goes in. 
Dives in. His aggression is uh, nice to see sometimes. Could have been a much closer scoreline, but uh, based on the post plants plays. But right now, it's Unity having 8 3. And would you see Kreas finding a great nade on Mikey here, stopping him in their way. Now leading the claw. Would be sight MVQ thought he went through the vans, but Peachin will be there trying to stop him in his way. Peachin just plays the waiting game here. Doesn't gonna go for the peak. As he comes by here, Dider will not spot him in time. Orsi gets that frag instead. A 3v3 arrives. Now they're doing this beautiful crossfire that they had previous rounds as well. Neo. Close to the right side and then Levi. Oh, not all. Oh. He stopped shooting Blitz. Kreas will go down to Neo though. His force will be alone here in a 2v1. Didn't get the bomb. Yeah, he has bomb. What? What? Why is it open? <laughs> Why an open plant? Ah, uh, Kifita. Opens the door, says hello, and gets the kill. And there we go. It's 9 3 here right now. Pistols. Pistols will be arriving, and I think that will be an important one really here in this 9-3 matchup. Oh no, Krias. You guys didn't see that, right? So, going into the pistols, see how they will do here. As they're kind of splitting up here in Unity. We'll be going three outside yard here. Blitz will find one. Peachin jumps down into Kreas. Trying to lock them from the rotation towards the B site right now, but Blitz will find Peach and Mikey gets Dider. Forcey finds Kefita. A lot of frags coming up right now. An advantage right now for a claw. As Neo searching it out. Oh, great one from MBQ. Love how Nuke is so dependent by the doors, really. Mikey finds MBQ. Is there any maps that has doors except Nuke right now? Like an active map pool? I just thought about it. Mikey, in this 2v1, has a Glock. And he's going towards the A site. And it's a clear A site here. Here goes Blitz. Yeah, he has every bit of information here, Mikey. Horsey and Blitz. Good shot by Mikey. Inferno has a door. 
Where? I forgot about it. There we go. Forcey finds that one. And the pistols will go to clock. Overpass has doors. Yeah, in underground, yeah. Overpass has doors. Inferno has a door. You guys sure about Inferno? Yeah, Inferno has one in second mid. That's not a lot of use on that one. Nah, the underground I agree with. Infernador always tricks my friends. Nuke is the only map which has double doors, alright. here in this round it's not a force buy from unity here even though they got the plant they'll be saving this round find some pistols here made a way through secret yes we'll get that contact but as soon as he spots that it's a deagle he's not trying to go for that one he just waits for the timing blitz will get some info here Anubis has a door which already is open. Yeah, I don't I don't count open doors. And there we go. 4C will get the refrag on NBQ. Whoa! Levi jumps in like a cowboy getting that shot through. Kriyas will find Neo, but that nade on Kefita is huge. But in a full eco round with just pistols here, they're making this one a fearful round for a clot right now. Of course, he finds that one. Let's. Did he? I hope he saw Kefita, but look at Peach and. Oh, he gets spotted by Forcey. Never mind. You're literally casting a map with a door. I know about nuke. Don't worry about it. I was talking about nuke having such a significant role with their doors. And if there's any other maps with those same significance, I would say overpass, but the inferno door doesn't seem like it's that important. Going into round 15. See how they'll do from here. Just in a main position. Peachin coming closer and closer here. Yeah, exactly. So three out of seven maps. Yeah. Outside of yard, they will give out that control. It's forced with an AOG who will just try to hold. As he finds that one on Neo, he finds another one on Kefida. He does this one well. And there we go. Peach and finds Forcey. It's 
see here towards the B ramp. They'll try to wrap it up. Try to get. Wait, maybe towards A site. Schneider will find one here. Has an opportunity in a second, and he does. Oh, but a triple arrives. And 9 6 to the scoreboard here. And into round 16, we'll go here. Bad economy for Unity right now. They do have some pistols, but not much more than that, really. As they're coming by, Forza will be finding the first one and then instantly backing away here. Beautiful movement by him. And we see him getting a second on Mikey. Mikey will try to wide it out and try to get a kill, but Forza's round here. Getting three kills with that AWP. We'll be having two players left. Levi and Neo. Wait, Levi finds one. Goes for the plant here. Sorry, it's Neo. Neo, maybe? Yeah, Levi found one. Neo makes the plant. MBQ tries to spot Levi here. Yeah, beautifully done. Get out that heaven player. Now it's just Neo left outside in sight. As the aim doesn't quite come through here. MBQ will get that kill and get that defuse through. Yeah, he does. And we got 9 7. You guys, you guys should also think about Nuke being quite the CT sided map. So 9 3. It's like Sonic's Law. It's like quickly combackable. Maybe if you guys understand what I'm saying about that one. 93 is the new 11 4. <laughs> now, as a clock is having a great time right now on their CT side. Winning three rounds. Let's see how they'll do from here. Wounds Yard, Kriyas will play very passively here. And that's something Clot usually does here. They do they do they don't take Yard too aggressively. They actually give it away most of the rounds, just holding those important angles. Gives away secret as well. That can put Unity in a very sad, in a very different thinking, like what is happening. Mikey gets smoked out. Rest of the team is inside the B site here. It's MBQ behind the blue box. Unity have gotten so close so far right now. And their question, where is the clock? Where is the players? Where are they? Are they just waiting for us? And here they go. Dider finds that one. MBQ made some noise, maybe. Nope, not yet. Kitchen goes down. The bomb has been dropped. Mikey finds two, though. On the rotation, he'll get two kills. That's huge for Mikey. And we do see Kifida getting that refrag quite well, opening the door. And they can get away with this one because Kiraz is now alone in a 3 1. Double digit, double digits might just arrive here for Unity. And a great play style from them. I would say it's actually Clot giving. Giving too much map position away here. It was a little bit too defensive, too, uh, too laid back, maybe. A 
Also, Mikey getting two really changed the course of this round. I wonder where Dider has his cam. It's very closely placed. Let's see what happens. Mikey finds a great enter in Kreas right now. And losing this round might mean the loss of their economy and unity could really come back into this one Nation finds that one on mbq neo will get blitz as well neo with two kills here unity stepping up to the plate where it's needed. Kefita will plant the bomb. Or she will be alone and just going for the save right now. That's about it. Did he spot the barrel? No. He did, maybe. Oh. He's a little bit happy now. So, in a good place, Unity. See what the clock will try to do here. They are 11 7 on the scoreboard here right now. Important round for Unity. Clock forcing it up. Finds Mikey quite well. Great entry done for your clock. They don't get you. They they do get that rifle back. Now MBQ has an AK to play for, and that can be dangerous. Like me, they like me for my one taps. This Blitz gets that information, backs away. Unity may be trying to wrap it up towards a side. They do. Dider finds another rifle here. That can be dangerous here now. It has, has a good angle. But the 5 7. But good decision from Unity now to go towards that B ramp position. MBQ and Dider. MBQ and Blitz will be trying to hold it off here. Look at Forcey. Oh my. The push. The play. The opportunity from Forcey right now. Blitz finds two. This is a great job done. It's Detour, not Dietor.
Why didn't he write with an E then? So eleven eight on the scoreboard. Probably it's a check thing. Yeah, I guess so. Kefita finds a great frag here openly on Krias right now, trying to make it towards the B side as well. Force will be there with the AWP and get the refrag in. MBQ, he'll find a frag as well. He's been great for the entries for a clock. As they do get the contact towards the A side, they instantly rotate towards the B ramp. And he finds one MBQ. That's quite amazing. But refrag comes in. I would have. That's quite important that he gets a kill. Now, in this 3 2, we do see Neo planting the bomb here. Blitz gets the contact, flashes him out. They do have a Molly and a nade. There he goes. The Molly goes in. Neo will be. Flushed out with that Molotov and Blitz finds a great one tap on Mikey as well. And the defuse coming through. It's 9 11. 11 to 9. And Unity are now two rounds away from making the comeback. Four rounds away from taking it to Ancient. Two rounds away for Unity right now. And the tough thing is that Unity is actually on the T side. I have to put up some amazing two rounds here in order to win this one. Let's see. Fortune favors the bold sometimes, they say. Let's see how they will do from here. So, kind of a uh, tough economy here waiting for Unity right now if they lose this one. But Mikey gets a great entry on Blitz. Let's just see here. Mikey has a lot of good ground to try to work with. Clears out the yard. So in the meantime, not much happening here. Both teams just waiting for the other to do something aggressive. Both the clock and unity. But here goes some little decisions from Levi. Krias will find two kills. That's beautifully done. As Levi pushing through. I think he heard the tick on 4C. Now trying to confide themselves towards the B side here. MBQ will go down in that fashion. Jafita makes the plant. It's a 3v3 right now. Chaos being quite low. Force team will change up here. Good crossfire from Kefita and Mikey here. Having Levi as well in that position. And it looks like they'll be just going for the save here. His Dieter won't be having anything to do here. 
map point to Unity, ladies and gentlemen. They put up that amazing round. It was a do or die round for them. And they do it. So here we are and look MBQ finds the first that's a vital kill Peter and Mikey tries to find something through the smoke through the smoke here right now Nothing happening here yet. As it's a 5v4 here, Unity will try to find an entry somewhere. It's Mikey trying to search for a frag. Peter goes down to Mikey. Huge entry coming up. Blitz will be getting the refrag through towards the A site. They'll try to go here, but Kedaz will stop peaching towards the A, a main position. And now rotation towards the B site instantly coming from Neon Levi. As they will try to get that B side open for them. It is Horsey with the AWP. And he gets Levi. They're having the op duel against Neo here. Neo just buys it out. Yeah. Horsey will be awake. Won't give that one away. Double digits comes up for a clot as well. And they're two rounds away from taking this one to an overtime. So let's see here, round 23, pistols mostly here for Unity, they do have a Mac 10 and a rifle, but Mikey lost lost that rifle. I think he has spotted something, but oh, the reload, oh, the reload, that won't help him out. It's Peach and finds that one. Blitz gets that kill, Blitz gets two, three kills here, huge from Blitz. Peaching alone with an AK. We'll be having 12 11. And there we go. 12 11. Final round coming up. Let's see how they'll do. into round number four here and let's see important round here in order to get that overtime let's see if a clock can make it unity definitely i want to win this one and take it to their own map here they go entry is coming through here blitz getting two chaos getting another one here 4v2 situation for Peachin and Mikey to try to go through here. Mikey finds one. Down to 6 HP. It's all about Peachin here. And he'll find MBQ. No, not actually. 
Oh, look, Blitz definitely could go down here. My Peach and Blitz versus Peach right now. Blitz spotted him. But doesn't get the quite the kill here. Mikey comes up towards the A side as well. This 4v2 could go to Unity right now because they make that bomb plan here. And now it's a 2v2. And there we go. Forcey will go down as well to Peachin. It's MBQ who has to make this play. Does know about Mikey. Finds Mikey quite well. Now 1v1 against Peachin. him quite well did he get the defuse never mind 13 11 13 11 unity takes that one away here and we'll be moving into the second map which is ancient ladies and gentlemen and how they will they put up those last two rounds in the end they did a good ct side really having nine three and then going into that t side it became a little bit comfortable for them but uh, Dynamic Clot was on their way back. And I think their T side was something that didn't quite work out for them in this one. So let's just see how the next map will go down here. As we'll be seeing a Clot on CT side and Unity on T side on Ancient, ladies and gentlemen. So the highlights will be coming up and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.
Welcome back, everybody here. We are here with Dynamo Clock versus Unity. And we'll be starting off with the pistols coming through. Clock losing on Nuke. Unity has picked Ancient. And let's see how they will do from here. There's some great options to try to take this one away. Let's just see how it'll do here. MBQ finds a great entry on Mikey. As the B site will be explosion from Unity here. It's Chaos finding one, trying to spray through. He finds a second blitz, getting two kills here. And we got a clot on 1-0. Quick round comes through for them. Great stop by a clock. So a lot of B lane control that comes up from a clock here. It's a full, it's a full force from Unity right now, where Mikey tried to peek something through elbow, but didn't quite get the opportunity. Chaos finds that one, finds two, farms a little bit with the MP9, tries to go against Kefita as well. It's Forcey that jumps through, and gets the kill. Levi. Will be the only sole survivor after Blitz finds him, and with the Zeus, that won't come by. MBQ finds on Levi, and we'll be getting to zero two clock. Let's see how they'll do here in round number three. As this round comes by, there's some options. Hider finds one. Neo will get the frag through. Forcey backs away. A site will be for Unity right now. And we're trying to go for the retake here. Let's see if that's a possibility or if a Unity will take a round back here instantly. You can have the option, but it's a 4v4 right now. Here they go. The nades are coming through. Clot as well was forced. He finds Peach in quite well. Coming through here, Neo. Neo can't find a spray through on Blitz. The defuse might just come through here for Neo. Oh my, Mikey won't be able to knife as well. It's a great hold from Forcey, helping out his teammate here. And Clot will take the round away. Uh, Dieter's cam is. A little bit slow right now, but either way, here's here's the team, here's the squad. Yeah, if he sprayed to the right, it would have found Blitz in that situation. Now coming up like a fast round here from Unity. Try to at least force the B site, but will be denied by the nades and decides to back away instead. Take a different route, take a different angle. Mike is in mid as well. I 
towards a main where they actually have two players here it's Dieter and uh Forcey being close Forcey holding donut position but still some great options here for clot to go for zero Dieter finds the first contact there finds the second and a third kill and Forcey will help them out great from Dieter and Forcey that Shuts down the A site, really. A timeout arrives for Unity. See how they'll do from here. So now rifles arrive for Unity. Let's see how they'll take it from here. My game just makes it when the smoke fades in. And we'll go towards the donut position. Together with Levi, maybe. It seems like it. As it does get the contact here. Levi will go down in the red room against MBQ. Mikey will back away towards the B side. We do have the three players, the rest of the three players towards Unity. As Mikey finds that frag, he'll probably just stop. Come from flank play here. But Blitz is in a very good position here to try to help him out. And here they go with the execution towards the B side. The smokes are coming through. But... They're not committed towards the B side. They'll fake it towards the A side instead. Or C and Dieter not giving it away completely here. But oh, Dieter goes down to Peach and suddenly it's a 3v3 instead. But Forcey get that off shot. I'm trying to make some ground here for his teammates before they arrive. Oh, the good house go. Forcey, what a great round. Kefita, he picks two, but it becomes a 1v1. It becomes such a dangerous round, but then the clock will take it away and get 5 0 here. Yeah, here we are in round number six. What's the third map? Anubis. It's MBQ. Won't be really getting that kill. It's Dider with the refrag. Defeater finds Blitz. Makes his move towards the K position here. Horsey comes out and Kefita will find another one. Success might just come from Unity right now as Kefita finds another one. And there we go. Mikey will get Dieter in the end and we'll be getting the first round in for Unity. Great entries done. The world rankings, I don't think it really matters in tier two, tier three. Much depends on form and individual performances, really. Just look at Wonderful. Five months ago, he played for Sprout. Now playing in the tier one, Navi.
Yeah, which maps as well matters. The map veto matters a lot between the teams. What 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 team what what team knows what map best, what they practice, what they do, how they do it. Sometimes some teams that practice both maps can be a close map, but it can also be a blowout depending on how they play, really. And as you guys can see, a little bit of passiveness from a clock towards the B ramp, and it is towards the B ramp. They'll try to go here. Unity, great damage done from Kreas on Pichin. Now, as the execute is coming by towards the B site, we will be having a 5v5 retake most likely here. Don't have a lot of utilities left, but they do have some on the clock. Two flashes here. Levi almost going down, but flash in. And he'll just get one kill, though. The refract comes in from Kreas. Defeat up. Finds one, finds two. Oh, good damage done, Kreas. Good damage done, Kreas. And he actually wins this round back to a clock. 6-1. So, 6-1 on the scoreboard here. Let's see how round number eight will go down here between the two sides. We do see Neo making it through here. Trying to go in with the AWP. Force it will be in that spot. HLTV map, I mean, you guys shouldn't go for much of that HLTV rankings. That only shows it's based on how many games you play sometimes. Peter finds that one. Levi will get the refrag. Down to 23 HP, though. Now they are going towards that B site. See here, Kreos pushing through. Ooh, Kifida with a great entry. And could now take over the B site right now. NBQ, he'll go down to Kifida as well. Kifida is proving himself not to only be the IGL, but a great entry fragger as well here. Shane Cohort, the course of this round. Just by himself. Now they'll have to step away and 6-2 will come through. And we'll have a tough economy on a clock. So, 6 2 on the score line here. Oh, Unity will do. It is their map pick. A 
Let's see how they'll do from here. Four up on the clock side, three SMGs. MBQ going in first here. Neo will be trying to hold off. Neo goes down. Defeat finds only one this time. He's been the Enterfragger for uh, Unity for a while now, these rounds. All the other players have struggled. I mean, 11 kills on Kefita. Should say something here. As uncertainty for Clot arrives, Unity will rotate towards the bomb and go towards the B side. It's Forcey with an AWP holding through short. Do you have one smoke in Peachin? Actually boosting up Forcey right now. Two towards the B side right now. The long smoke won't work out as Mikey goes down. It's a 4v2 here for Unity to try to solve. Blitz goes in and finds the kill. Peachin finds another one. Great. Clean up by a clock. They won't even give the plant up. So round number 10. So let's see here, Levi makes it through. Mike could take some damage through some bullets in the smoke. But as they make their way towards the red room, it's forced with an AWP only. I mean, if they peak double, if they double peak that one, you might just only get one kill here, Forcey. As it's 7-2 on the scoreboard right now. See how they'll do from here. It's a couple of flashes for the clock right now. Nothing more than that. Levi catches on to Dieter. They could make that rotation towards the B side, towards the A side instead. But look, Chaos will be going down. Forcey will be going down. And MBQ will be the last player alive towards the A side. It's Unity taking this one away. And 7-3 will come up. So, the economy for clock will be a curious one. Because here's an option for Unity to go not just 7-3, 7-4, 7-5 maybe in the last couple of rounds. And changing the course of this game, really. By the end of the rounds here. And then the pistols will be so important in the second half to try to get a good beginning. Uh, look here. Really tough economy. Four o'clock here. Some pistols. One scout. One M4. Seven. Four could definitely be the scroll line here right now. But it's Kefita actually leading Unity away here. As someone said, it's kind of a Kefita revenge arc right now.
Pichin finds the first one over here. And BQ gets two, though. And as Pichin and Kefita just fires back, Kreas will find one. Kreas has an option, but Kefita finds another one. And now it's the 2v1 where Forcey will try to come through, but has to back away. He has 13 kills, by the way. If I said Kefita was doing well, Forcey is doing so much better right now. And this game. Let's see if he can take this one back. Land comes through. Is it waiting for Kefita here? Nope, not quite. Kefita finds that one. And we'll be having Unity taking a round. Yeah, let's see how they'll do following through to this one. As it's 7-4, seven, 7-5 seven, would be amazing for Unity to try to take with them here. The economy for Clot is broken. They have to force it out. They have to go again. Try again. Force it with the scout. Almost tags Neo there in that situation. And now the push comes by from two players. Pichin. Together with Neo is ready for this one. But Neo goes down. Pichin grabs two. Kreas will get the refrag. But Kefita will be the final boss for Chaos. And he, that won't be a boss that he actually takes. Seven five is how we'll be ending this first half here. It's Dieter alone in the three v one. Surely looks like an impossible round for him. We'll get an AWP though. Let's see. You're coming by Mikey getting tagged. Mikey going down with a second no scope. That's amazing. Not just one no scope, two no scopes made by Dieter. And let's see, as he's pushing through, he doesn't have the diffuse kit. It's a 10 second diffuse, and time is over. Time is over. But Levi will find him in the end. And we got 7 5. Second half coming through. So, see how the second half will go through here. As you do see, your clock is talking. Unity as well, getting ready. Great comeback from Unity. Clot had it in their hands, and it feels like the clock puts up some good rounds, but then underestimates a little bit. Kefita has been playing well as well. Should be mentioned 16 kills on that first half. And here we go. Clock making it towards the red room position. It's Mikey actually just letting them through here. Mikey finds one. Kefita finds another one. Kefita goes down. Mikey finds another second. 
but this round should be done already when neon levi finds those two kills we got seven six the pistols goes to unity And they can just play through right now. MBQ will be fired down here. It's the full eco, so 7-7 seven, seven should be the scoreline right now. Great comeback done. Here they go with the pistols. Refrag from Dieter tries to chase down on Levi. Finds Levi as well. Great. Full eco coming up right now. Kefita will find one though. That might be going towards a side. Kreas and Dieter. 50 seconds on the timer. Neo will try to clear out a main, which he does correctly. As he's coming by here, Peach, and he'll find that one. Is it ready for Chaos being closed? Chaos makes some noise. And he will come from behind here. And there we go. Unity takes another one. Rifles now coming up for Clot. And let's see if they can come back from this. Here we are with a different round and Mikey finds MBQ quite well. Neo. Almost, but Blitz will find that one. Blitz will find a second that's huge coming up for Clot right now. This chaos will find Mikey. It's a 4v2 right now, and your clock can take this round away. Look, Kefita and Peachin. If they find Chaos here together with Blitz. Peachin gets that kill. Kefita already towards A site right now. Chaos will try to commit towards A site. Smoke comes in against Dieter. Dieter sneaks in. Kefita won't be ready for Dieter. As Force will find Peachin. There's that comeback round from McClot now. 8 7. I'm not sure, Rimarosh. You should maybe probably ask someone who does a lot of trades on Twitter. Someone trusty. So let's see, Kefita having issues between the wall bang from Chaos and Blitz coming up towards the beast side. They might just go quickly here. Unity forced up. Could be having some trouble here. Spider finds Blitz with his nade, his own nade. And two players goes down for Clot. It's a 3-3 right now where Mikey will find Force as well. Rotation from MBQ coming up as the A side is clear. But look here. 
Trias will just be headed towards Levi. Losing the bomb, MBQ will be the final boss. And wow. He's not happy. MBQ is not happy. <laughs> He's not happy, died. <laughs> At all. He has 14 HP. It will be 8-8 eight, eight after this one. And we'll find a nade, a uh, rifle, and there it is, 8-8 eight, eight unity. When's this one? Timeout arrives. As they have to hash it out, talk it out here. It's getting a little bit difficult right now. It's like Dieter has like a three three FPS cam right now. Well, let's just see how they'll do here. Round seventeen coming up. Clock versus Unity. Trying to go towards the A side right now. They're locked out of the B lane position. It's Neo alone. Here they go. Neo. We'll be getting a surprise, but finds three kills like that. Great job from Neo. Now MBQ has to salvage this, but he can't. Mikey. We'll find him. It was a it was a force buy from a clock. It was a force buy from a clock, and now Blitz can't really do much from his position. We'll be having nine eight for Unity, but also full eco probably coming for a clock. So let's just goes for the save here in T-Spawn. We'll be having 8 so let's just see how they'll do from here in round number 18 opportunities are here but can they make it will they do it if 
pistols. It's a full eco for the clot. So definitely could be 10, 8 on the scoreboard blitz with the single Galil play. Oh, getting dinged to 9 HP. Look here. Here goes the frags in. Here goes it. Last play alive. Forcey, he'll find one. But denied instantly. And we got double digits up for Unity, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking great, King. Nah. In the meantime, it looks great for Unity. It is their map pick. They are playing well. Did 7-5 on the first half. Now having CT side by them. They could take it away. It's uh, up to clock right now. It's the rifle round coming up. Kefita has been a monster as well. As Mikey finds the refrag over there. Oh, Blitz with a surprise move, but Chaos will be going down to the refrag as well. 2v2 though. As Force, he opens up with an AVP frag as well. Oh my. The timing. The timing. The timing. Lighter. We'll be going down to Kafita. And we'll have Forcey with an AWP alone. Gets yeah, that one against Kafita. And one minute on the timer here. Neo. Rotating. Actually rotating. As Forcey is headed his way towards the A side as well. And as he's placing himself in a very good position here, that position might not be checked out by Forcey. And Forcey has been playing well. He has 19 kills in this game. Neo stepping up to the plate. Oh, the peak! The shots! 20 seconds left. Forcey rotating away. Will they make it towards the B side though? No way. Has to come in towards the A side. We'll give the round away and we'll be having 11 8 instead. Clock. What a. What a. What a peak from Neo. I understand the time was low. What a peak. That could have been so dangerous if forced to hit the shot. Oh, did MBQ rage? 8 11 on the scoreboard. Now going through mid clock. Well, as having the B lane in position, no, no aggression really coming from Unity right now. Just waiting for the opportunities. Horsey almost gets Mikey here, but Mikey will decide not to challenge anymore. MBQ and Dider coming up. Oh, Mikey! Why is it out? The refrag won't come through. Chaos will be searching here, but he'll go down as well. Blitz, he'll find Kefida. He'll get the B site. Let's see if Forcey can make it here with the bomb as well, having him by himself here. Peachin, oh my. But he's back against the wall. Blitz does this one great. Now it's a 3v2 though, the 4v2. Neo gets every bit of information though. He knows about the opera. He knows about Blitz. He'll be getting Blitz quite well. And the information to Levi and to his teammates are done. Look here. Force just goes for the save. Counter 
There we go. 12 8, ladies and gentlemen. Still have some money to buy a clock. It's a loss bonus, but it will be a tough round again. One AK, two Gills, one M, one Mac 10. And uh, Unity can go away with a 2 0 win. Winning on Nuke was so important. NBQ down to 50 HP, down to 28 HP right now. Backing away. Trying to go towards the B site right now when the B smoke is up. See how they'll do from here. They'll try to go up the B ramp position. And that is where they try to execute here. Peach and to get out Mikey will be having a lot to try to take care of here. Here goes the nades. Peach and finds one. Mikey to get out Kefida who wides it out and shoots while he's flashed. Blitz, mollied. But he'll find Peach and before he goes down. But that might be such an unnecessary sacrifice, really. Ifida finds MBQ and 4C goes down in the end. And there it is. It's 2-0, ladies and gentlemen. 13-8 comes out here. And what a way to do it. I would give this one to Kefida, really. 21 kills in Ancient. He did such a great game here on Ancient. Turned it up on the T side as well. He got like... Three kills, two kills, three kills, two kills. Almost every round there had like 16 kills in before uh, the second half beginning. So uh, what a way to take it away here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it, ladies and gentlemen. No more matches today. We'll be having two matches tomorrow instead. And uh, way to see it. Nice cast, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the casting. Hope you guys had an awesome time and big ups to the production here putting up with the cams putting up with the overlay as well we developing developing epl so good right now so great so big ups to caps the producer and uh etta roma for observing and i'll thank you for joining in so take care everybody highlights coming up ciao